Sup folks and welcome back to Let's Play IL2 Samovic Iron Man where last time, well, we went to Margate and the usual thing that happens at Margate happened, we just got torn to pieces by um, BF-109s. Um, hopefully this time we will have some better luck. Maybe we can shoot some bombers or something, although to be honest with you I don't really fancy the idea of shooting bombers, it's never gone particularly well so far. <laughs> I hate... I hate tail gunners. I hate them. I hate them more than 109s. I really do. You know, 109s, at least they have the decency to shoot at you from from behind, which means that your pilot's less likely to get a bullet in his brains. Because I can deal with getting shot down and bailing out. That's fine. It's when, uh, it's, it's, when a, it's when a lucky shot from a guy with a machine gun in the back of a bomber plants one right through the center of the windscreen and into your forehead. That's that's when you there's a problem. Um... Let's have a look at the roster. We've still got the most kills, but although that's not saying much because our squadron is pretty freaking dreadful, actually. Overall kill 16. How many have we lost? One, two, three, four, five, uh, well, five, six, seven if you count HUD who got sent to hospital. Um, we're still positive on our kill death ratio there, but um, it's not particularly impressive either way. I'm still the highest scoring member of the squadron at the minute, probably possibly not including HUD. I think he might have had more than me, but I can't remember. He's not on the list anymore, though, because he's gone to hospital. So, yeah. And yet, I'm I'm a mere pilot officer. You'd think they'd make me flight le le lieutenant or something, but no. Um, I, I still have to fly on Sergeantson's wing today. Great. Don't get a wingman once again. Oh dear. Eventually, we'll get promoted to something like flying officer, and then we'll get our own wing of dudes to command, which will make the life a bit easier, frankly. Um, but until then, we're just going to have to do our duty as a lowly peon. Um, so yeah, not a long flight, 39 nautical miles. Let's go shoot some stuff down. Hopefully it'll be Stukas, that'd be nice. Have a, have a, have a turkey shoot with Stukas. That'd be jolly good fun, as far as I'm concerned. Um... But, uh, you know, having said that, it's probably going to be like, I don't know, 20,000 109s with an escort of 15 ME262s, all of them firing tank cannons at us or something. Ugh. Tell you what, when I'm squadron leader, I'm going to make sure we fly nice and high. Like at least a thousand or so meters above what the mission briefing prescribes. That way we won't get jumped like we did last time. Well, we're less likely to be jumped like, like we were last time. Oh, dear me. Anyway. Alright, come on. Flying officer, what, whatever your face is, let's get moving. I haven't got all day. Why is my seat red? That's weird. Does it have like a cushion on it or something? Strange. Whatever. Um... Sometime today would be nice. There we go, finally. Let's move it. God, I really... I know I comment on this, this bad texture on the ground quite a bit, but... It's especially frustrating because... It, it actually becomes incredibly difficult to judge how fast I'm moving, actually, and... Where the runway is and stuff like that. Um, when the texture's so low resolution. Like that. Yeah, on the whole, not a fan, but whatever. And off we go into the wild blue yonder to get shot down into the sea. All right, we just heard the call out for bombers, which means that the fighter escort cannot be far away. So even though everyone else seems to be diving down to the deck, I'm going to stay up here. Thanks very much. Okay, these look like the bombers. Can't bloody tell what they are, I'm afraid. Um, and yep, sure enough, here come the fighters in at a higher altitude. Can't tell what those are. I'm get. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm hoping it's Stukas. <laughs> frankly, they're the far, far, by far the least lethal of the opponents we could potentially face. Oh my God! Seriously, guys, come on, get up here. 
I am not gonna fight six fucking BF 109s by myself. Look at them all. Uh, you know what, for now I'm just content to fly around up here and observe. I'm gonna have to fly quite conservatively, it looks like, if I want to stay alive here. Oh, yep, they're closing in. Some of them not on me, though. Shrivel is trying to find out who is. I look like the most of them are distracted, actually. Well, then. Let's pick a target and, um... Try and scare him a bit, eh? Why not? Let's put the boost on. Oh, engine. Good grief. Give me a break. Uh, my roll rate is terrible in this thing at high speeds as well. Also, my track IR is playing silly buggers with me, which is not great. Totally losing track of the fight here. That's not good. That's usually what happens right before you die, in fact. Okay, who's up here with us? We do appear to be above just about everyone else. We've got this guy to contend with. It's only a matter of time, though, before he calls for help. And that's when we're in trouble. I see no friendlies at all. Don't you dare dive down there, you little asshole. Oh, apparently 11 shot someone down. Oh my god! Nice, smoking. Sweet. Now, where's the guy who just took a pass at us? I'm gonna leave him for now. He should hopefully be nice and distracted with his engine trouble I've given him. And we've got this fella here. This gentleman here. Ooh boy! I'm going so slow. This is a not good. You know what, I'm not going to go right down after you like that. I'm going to... loop over and maintain my altitude. Turn off the boost, don't really need that right now. It's only going to make the engine overheat faster. That could have been some hits there, but evidently they weren't good enough. in a scissors right now, but I'm probably going to win it, because I've got a better turning radius than he has. Oh, wow! Okay, enemy aircraft destroyed. Sweet, the chap we set smoking has evidently gone to sleep with the fishes. Alright, he's giving up on that. Is he just going to try and outclimb me? Yeah, he probably is. That's what it looks like he's doing. Or not? Has he got a friend coming to shoot me in the back? Engine's overheating. Where has he gone? Jesus, I took my eyes off him for one second. There he is. Right. Open that radiator. Little bugger, come on. Yeah. 
Yes! Take that! Eat that! How'd you like them flaming rifle caliber apples? Right, let's not get cocky and get shot down by him as he comes back around in flames. But damn if I'm not pleased with that result. Yep, he's bailing out. Don't blame him one bit. Let's take off the boost. At least our engine's not overheating. That's nice. I've got to say, actually, the the Spitfire is remarkably difficult to overheat. You really have to abuse this poor thing before it starts going, um, could you could you maybe slow down a bit, please? I'd appreciate it. Nice! Enemy aircraft destroyed. So that's two kills, and we're probably really low on ammo, but we might as well go back and find out where the rest of everyone else has gone to. Oh, hell yes. Oh, that's why I play this game, folks. That is why. <laughs> That's why I struggle through the through the this BF109 massacres because every now and again something like this happens. Attention. Right, we've got dots. A formation of dots. Probably bombers on their way back after blowing the crap out of whatever it was they were after. Someone else is having trouble with fighters, so the cl that's cl clearly the uh, the escort isn't completely dead. Who's that? A lone plane, by the looks of things. Well, I don't think I really have enough ammo to go after them, but... Oh, hello. There's actually quite a lot of Germans over there. Um, I'm thinking... Yeah, let's just unload the rest of our ammo into these guys, try not to get shot in the face by the tail gunners, and make a beeline for home, because I have no idea what the situation is here, RE, us, versus them, in terms of numbers right now. I could be the last Spitfire alive, for all I know. Numbers seemed roughly even when we went in there, but that, that hasn't helped us in the past, so, well, engine. Behave. I didn't push you down that much. Oh god, bullets everywhere. And none of them mine! Ugh. is risky business. How did none of that do any damage? God damn, is my gunnery really that bad? Yep, yep, answer is yes. <laughs> oh no, he's leaking. I've definitely got at least some hits on him. Oh, it's just a freaking stuka. How hard could it be? Oh, God. Okay, that's what we call getting greedy. Shit. Oh, boy. Get back over that red line, Sonny Jim. Oh, man. Oh, boy, engine. Please don't die on me now. I need you to go on a little bit longer. First, let's reduce prop pitch because we're actually descending right now. Oh, not a good time, Mr. Blue Man, up there. Really not a good time, right? What's wrong with the end? Well, aside from having bullets in it and oil all over the windscreen. Temperature seems to be going up pretty steadily. Oh my god, I can't keep control of this thing for 10 seconds, can I? Temperature seems to be going... Okay, temperature's holding steady-ish. So... I might at least be able to make it back to dry land, I don't know. 
Hopefully that fucking Stuka will crash on landing. I hope he does. Oh, thank God they're moving away. <laughs> oh, boy. And trim down. Stop nosing up, you stupid plane. Okay, that's a bit too far. Let's nose up a bit more. There we go. I'll do. Um, all right then. So, yeah. Speaking of things like trim, I'm um, glad to hear that people were actually remarkably infused by the idea of me doing a series of sort of tutorial-esque videos. Um, so that's nice to hear. Oh no, no, keep that open. Um, so, so yeah, I I didn't think people would be that interested, but apparently some people are. So I will I will get on that actually. I don't know when, and I don't know how often I'll be able to do them, but I'm certainly going to make an effort. Um, I'm just trying to figure out exactly um, how to put them together and what subjects to cover and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to try and keep it quite n nice and general though, um, so that the info. I cover in them is usable not only in this game but in other flight games too. So, speaking of other flight games, in fact, actually, um, uh, some people have asked me why don't you play IL Two Close of Dover? Um, and considering I'm playing about the Britain campaign in this right now, that's probably a good question. Since IL-2 Cliffs of Dover, it pretty exclusively covers the Battle of Britain. And the answer is variety, my friends. Cliffs of Dover is very good at what it does. It portrays a one, one fairly small conflict with uh, undeniably good detail. Certainly if you've got the Team Fusion patches, which I have um, installed. Um, this engine's going to die pretty soon, mark my words. Um, however... The thing I like about IL-2 Sturmovic 1946, oh yeah, here we go. Let's try and throttle down completely, see how we get on. Is my throttle even working? Looks like it is at least a bit, but not much. Alright, we're no longer overheating, but it's just, it's, it's fucked. It's going to die sooner or later, it's just a matter of when. You can just tell from the pitch of the damn thing, it's getting slower and slower. Can we find an airfield before that happens? That's the question. I want to get over dry land first at least, because that way, even if we have to belly flop onto a field somewhere, the aircraft will be recoverable. And there's less likelihood of us drowning, of course. Um, but, um, yeah. I, there's, I can pick, basically, in this game, any air force, any theater, any campaign imaginable. And it will be modeled in some fashion in this game. You know. Yeah, we're going to have to ditch no field. I think this one will do just nice, actually. Just nicely. Engine in opera, yeah, good timing. Um, okay, let's not try, try not to fuck this up too much. Easy does it. There we go. Oh, that was... Whew. If there was such a thing as a textbook crash landing, that would be it. <laughs> nice. All right, then. Well, let's get out in case it explodes. Um, you never know. That does happen from time to time. Still wearing the wrong uniform. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, as I was saying, um, let's turn off the head tracking because that's just disorientating. Yeah, as I said, um, as I was saying, yeah, variety really is the spice of life, as far as I'm concerned, and this game is pretty good at that. My attention span is, is remarkably short, I have to admit. So, I mean, because here's the thing, Cliffs of Dover is great, uh, it, 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 but the problem is it only has about five interesting aircraft. You get your Hurricanes and your Spitfires and your 109s and yeah, a couple of Italian aircraft. That's kind of it, really. That's your lot. 
Um, but um, this game's got hundreds of aircraft. It's got everything. It's got everything from Korean War era jets to, you know, I think it even has a Sopwith Camel World War One biplane in here somewhere. So, you know, it's even got training aircraft like Tiger Moths and T-6 Texans and stuff. You know, it's great. It's, it's just you pick an aircraft and you can just go around for a bit of a fly around in it, even if you're not playing a campaign. And that's what I love about it. Whereas Cliffs of Dover, admittedly, even though because it has so few aircraft, those particular aircraft are incredibly accurately modelled. Um, it just, it doesn't hold my attention span for very long. Um, that's the problem with it, basically, for me. Um, however, I am considering having a go at it anyway. People have been asking me to. Uh, might not make videos, but I probably will stream it if I ever get the chance to stream again sometime. Um... Ooh, no friendlies around, apparently. Shift F2-ing right now, and nothing hap nothing's happening. So that's not good. But yeah, I, um... I'm thinking of going online with it at some point, with the Team Fusion patches. You can go on the ATAG server, which is apparently quite good. Good fun. And I, I like it from the perspective that it might provide for me an experience which I've been looking for, but haven't really found yet. Um, I, I've played... War Thunder, obviously, and I've played a bit of Aces High, but those two games are not quite my cup of tea, whereas IL-2 Online might well be that, what I'm looking for. So I'll, I'll keep you updated on that, because I know that some people are interested. I, the reason I, In fact, the reason I found the Team Fusion patches and stuff in the first place is because one of you guys actually mentioned it to me on Twitter, and I followed the link and got it installed and was very impressed with it, so thank you to whoever that was. I forget your name right now, I'm afraid. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, let's, uh, I guess, I guess let's call it a day. The, the mission's over, folks. Let's see what happened in that mess that occurred. Oh, dear, yeah, I think we, we pretty solidly lost that one. Good grief. <laughs> okay, enemy losses. Sergeantson, one kill. Dave, two kills. Way. Um, well earned as well, as far as I'm concerned, actually. Um, I was, that was some pretty panicky, but ultimately lucky and sl somewhat skilled flying on my part. I I'm, I'm feel quite, quite pleased with myself about that, even if we lost yet another plane. Um, another, another write-off, but never mind. Um, got too greedy with those Stukas, what can I say? I'll just have to take that lesson to heart and not do that next time. Learn to cut my losses quit while I'm ahead, all that stuff. So, Sergeantson was wounded, Parbury was KIA, Smith was wounded. Two kills, six in total. That makes us an ace, officially. Five kills is an ace. Sweet. There we go. Fighter ace. Soldier of Dave. That's got a weird ring to it. <laughs> I like it. Um, maybe we can make it to ten and be a double ace. Uh, we'll see. Um, so what was that? 10 109Es and 10 JU87s. That was pretty weedy, generally speaking, actually. I'm surprised we didn't do much better than we did. We had four Spitfires and nine Hurricanes. Yeah, we... God, good God, we really didn't have an excuse there. We should have done better. Um, I mean, I did as best as I could. I shot down two bloody planes um, and severely damaged a third one, so I, I feel like I did my bit, but... Uh, I think these slackers didn't. Let's see. Hurricane 1, shot down. Hurricane 1, shot down. Shot down. Hurricane crashed. Smith was shot down. Hurricane shot down. Shot down. Shot down. Shot down. Yeah, they were massacred by the BF 109E4s. Shot down. What do we get then? A JU87. Another JU87. E4 shot down by Sargentson, good on him. E4 shot down by player, and another E4 shot down by player. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And then we play bailed out over here. Tantalizingly close to RAF Hawking, but never mind. I'm I'm just grateful that our 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 um, engine lasted us long enough to make it all the way back to dry land. I mean, admittedly, if I'd had my course right in the first place, we probably could have made it to Hawking or Limney, actually, if you look at the way we went, the amount of flight time I had. 
you probably could have done better, but um, that's fine. You know, the mechanics can come and retrieve the aircraft and probably get it fixed up sooner or later. It's better than one that's sunk to the bottom of the channel, basically. Um, so, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. On the ho Strategically, that was a poor mission, but personally, that was actually quite a good one. So, there we go. You survived and can fight another day. Yes. Typical understatement from the briefing text. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Let's apply then, see what happens. Hey! Pilot Officer Dave awarded Distinguished Flying Medal. Graves and Calvert joined the squadron and Smith was wounded and sent to hospital. Fair enough. I was hoping for a promotion, but never mind. Uh, maybe next time. And next time we will be yep, protecting anchored ships at Dover. So that should be fairly straightforward. That will mean bombers, I'm almost certain. That will mean plenty of bombers. Um, and probably plenty of fighters escorting them, but hey, whatever. I um, really don't care much for bombers at the minute, actually. I, um, I'm probably doing it completely wrong and attacking them completely wrong. In fact, I know for a fact I am. It's just... When you've got such weedy machine guns, you can't help but try and hang around on their tail for a bit so you can get a good burst into them. If I was packing cannons, then I could actually make some sort of sweeping, slashing attacks from above and at high speed and then zoom away and then actually play it safe, but I just don't have the firepower to do that, which is what makes going after these bombers so freaking annoying. Uh, but never mind, we'll deal with that later. <clears throat> and yeah, next time that's what we're going to be doing. Guarding some ships once more. Um... And uh, maybe, we'll, maybe we can replicate our successes thus far, hopefully. That'd be nice. Um, and then maybe we'll get promotion finally, because once we hit Flying Officer, that's when we start to get to do interesting things, like lead flights of dudes, um, which will be nice. We already got the privilege of having a wingman once before, but that was a bit of a fluke. They just they had a second flight of two guys, and they needed someone to lead it, so they picked me. Um, but once we hit flying officer, we'll, pr we'll we'll get put in charge pretty regularly. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. Might require another couple of kills in order for that to happen. However, sadly, but hey, let's see if we can't make it work. Anyway, I'll see you next time, ladies and gents. Turn off for now.